as all of our clients start this journey of exploration with, with Gen AI, they're each now reaching this point where they realize it's all about the data. Yes. Right? And the gravitational pull of the data is really dictating where the AI capability is, is executed. And I think we would expect that to move around a hybrid multi-cloud environment too. Yeah, well, I've been really surprised with some of the recent uptake in generative AI, Gen AI, yeah. right? And it's really interesting, actually, one of the, the sweet spots that clients expect to see early value is, of course, in modernizing my IT estate. Mm -hmm. The fact that I can now use AI to help me modernize applications faster. I can now bring more modernized applications to cloud. But, but not only that, they've realized that they can use AI to automate the way that they operate IT. Oh, yes. So if you think about clients desperate to adopt practices like site reliability engineering, right? Yes, you need a particular skill set to, to master that. If I can use AI to reduce the pressure so mm. that I don't have to reskill completely, AI will fill the gaps. That seems to be a particular interest to clients. I, I think that's um, the uh, next evolution mm. in cloud and what we, we will need to face. It, it's what I call the third dimension. You have the app dimension, you have the data dimension, then you have the intelligent mm. dimensions. When the two, the three of them come together, then you have the beauty of accelerations. Mm. Like we did application journeys, now we have the data journeys that our clients are facing. And that's why in HCL Tech, we, and especially in the Cloud Smart mm -hmm. family, we adopt the concept of smart ways, which are the highways that mm -hmm. your enterprise is undertaking, uh, either at the application centric, at the operating model centric, or the data centric, because not everything happens in synchrony at mm -hmm. the same time. It's the business that is going to ask more questions with wanting answer, and that's the data yeah, movement. And I think what I also see alongside that, if we think back to the early days of, of cloud, I think clients saw the cloud journey as a one-way trip. Yes. Right? Yes. I'm going from the data center to cloud. I think we're in a world now of continuous modernization. Don't you agree? Absolutely, yeah. and that's really our main cloud message mm. in, in its CL Tech. It's, uh, cloud is not a, a bus trip to the cloud. Mm. It is a, a continuous evolution because the cloud provider, you know, they put new services, many mm. new services every year, new industry dimension, mm. and we should talk a little bit about that. It's, and the applications, anything that you take in technology mm. and stay static will die and will cost money. So in cloud, we have the ability to continuously mm. modernize, to um, take environment down, to create huge reliability, to pick one cloud provider over the other, to move um, operation from totally offshore to mm. partly offshore. And I think that's, the thing that we are seeing quite a lot in a conversation with our clients today. Yeah, and I think a related dynamic that's accelerating this entire kind of circular modernization journey is when we think about the relationship between business and IT. Oh. When, when I look at the excitement around Gen AI, for yes. example, all of that excitement is coming from the business leadership, right? And I think it's been quite interesting as we do these early exploratory projects with clients and you, you can turn these around so quickly, when the client can see that if they have the right data yeah. connected to the right AI capability, they can have an experience that was unachievable in the past. And I think when the business leadership see that very immediate kind of value, the pressure increases on IT. Yes. Get my data sorted out, annotate it, label it, bring me a platform that I can use to feed my AI capability going forwards. I, I think Gen AI is going to recreate another mm. shadow IT mm. that is data related, or the business will go to provider like us, says this is the use cases, this is the data I have, please provide the answers against these use cases. It's going to be very interesting mm. how it's going to evolve the relationship with, with IT, a traditional mm -hmm. IT. And I think the world will be 
even more divided in a bimodal world mm. in clients than traditional. Yeah, I see, world I see early and, signs and, yeah. of this impact in modernization journeys today. You know, most IT shops have an enormous backlog of applications waiting yes. for modernization. I think some of these business leaders st are starting to realize with the right data connected to the right AI engine, rather than modernize a legacy application, I'll just reinvent it. And, and I'll do that immediately. And I think that's what is going to be very mm. powerful in HCL Tech, our engineering teams. Mm. Because data engineering, application engineering, he's starting to see a resurgence just because of that. Why should I take these old things? Why don't I rewrite it around mm. data instead of uh, around a piece of code? And then that can stay with me for years and years and produce outcomes much better than me trying to fit something was never born mm. to be in the cloud, to fit it in the cloud, and that's going to cost me more and more. So. Well, in some respects, the application disappears in the eyes of many clients. It's about a conversation with my data. I can ask any question I like. I, I tell yeah. you, I wish I would do that. Going back to this 75% mm. of the people that haven't used the cloud mm. yet, there are still a lot of people there that's thinking, I need to bring my application to the cloud. Mm -hmm. But um, innovation is pushing the conversation on, on another mm -hmm. side.